here's an example. Um, let's say um, we have a random vector x, which is jointly Gaussian, and we have its mean vector and covariance matrix. And uh, the mean vector is given here. The covariance matrix is given here. And we define new random uh, variables y1 and y2. Okay, y1 is defined as 2 times x1 minus 4x2 plus x3. And y2 is defined as minus x1 plus 2x2 minus x3. Okay. Um, this will be based on this observation here. If x is jointly Gaussian with these parameters, okay, and y equals a times x, then y itself is also jointly Gaussian with, with these parameters where they have these relationships with mean of x and covariance matrix of x. And as I said, uh, matrix A doesn't need to be invertible, doesn't need to be square matrix. Uh, so here's an example to precisely that. Here you see um, Y1 and Y2 makes the random vector of Y. So random vector Y is uh, dimension two. The original distribution X is dimension three. So my transformation matrix is um, two by three. Okay, so when I multiply it from left by, uh, so this will be a two by three matrix, multiply that with my original uh, random vector, which is three by one, the result will be two by one, which is the random vector of y. Okay, so this is my transformation matrix. You see, um, y1 is equal to this matrix here times x1, x2, x3, right? 2x1 minus 4x2 plus x3. And y2 equals minus x1 plus 2x2 minus x3. Okay, so this is my transformation matrix. Okay, so to obtain the mean of y and covariance of y, I will just apply the relationships we have found. And for the definition of y, these two will be sufficient because that's the good thing about joint Gaussians. If you know the mean vector, if you know the covariance matrix, you are done. You have the PDF because in the expression, you need nothing else. These are the two things you need. Okay, so to compute the mean vector, multiply matrix A with the mean vector of X, which is given to us here. Okay, and sorry, this should not be here. This is the result, 12 and minus 7. So 12 is the mean of y, and minus 7 is the mean of uh, y2. 12 is mean of y1, minus 7 is the mean of y2. Um, you could have also done this just manually, because you see the, the mean of x1 is 1, the mean of x2 is minus 2, the mean of x3 is 2. And therefore, you could have written the mean of y1 as two times the mean of x1, which is one, plus minus four times the mean of x2, which is minus two, plus one times the mean of x3, which is two, which should also give you 12. And well, this operation is the exact same thing as the product of this vector by this vector, okay? So you see this, uh, expression is just the, the matrix form of what you would have done normally. So we have obtained the mean vector here. And next thing, we will just find the covariance matrix, which will give us everything we need for the distribution of Y. This is the transformation matrix. This is its transpose. And here I have the given covariance matrix of X. Multiply these. Obviously, this is at 2 by 3, this is 3 by 3, and this is 3 by 2. When you multiply them all together, the result will be 2 by 2 matrix, which is not surprising because random vector y is a two-dimensional uh, vector. Therefore, the covariance matrix will be 2 by 2. And obviously, you see, you have in the diagonal the variances of y1 and y2. And in the off diagonals, you will have the covariance, okay? 
and uh, clearly this matrix is uh, a symmetric matrix as expected because it's a covariance matrix. Uh, 